Hi, this is Nick. Welcome to ISG, where we talk all things real estate in the Czech Republic. Today, we're going to do the review for March 2024. Do you want to go back to the style of looking at the charts while we go through the numbers for this month? Uh, this is the real estate prices in Prague. Um, we can see that prices have dropped 0.3% uh, this month, which is against a, an upward move of 0.3% across the rest of the country. In general, all of the charts uh, pretty much face the same way for all of Czech cities. Uh, so the trend is that prices are increasing. Now we see here that we, we've, we've recovered quite a lot um, versus the peak of 2022. Uh, but we're not quite there yet. And it'll be interesting to see whether this um, this drop that we had is a, is a trend that's happening or whether this is just a, a similar similar thing to we've had in previous months of just a couple of, you know, month or two down and then continuing up again. Um, if we look um, across the country in general, you know, Ostrava is somewhere that really stands out. Uh, it's seen 22% year-on-year growth so far. The prices are well above what they were uh, during 2022 when they previously peaked so that's really good if you are investing down there or have invested down there um, and it'll be interesting to see what happens whether we see prices coming back a little or whether they continue up here because still the price per square meter is pretty low and when you just consider the general rising costs like building costs etc you know it, it's clear to see why such prices would increase quite a lot uh, moving on to rents uh, we can see here this is the Prague rent prices. They rose 2.1% last month. There's another big move up. Um, and across the country, they rose 1.4%. So again, um, big increases that we're seeing in the rental market. Um, we've seen you know lowering utility costs like electricity and gas. But we've also seen uh, increases in other things like water. We've seen increases in uh, repair funds for... for um, for apartments and, and just general repair costs for, for houses. So it's kind of no surprise really that rents are moving up again, given all that, because all of that has to be counted when a landlord is renting out their property. Um, if we look at interest rates, we can see now that the interest rates are starting to come down. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of work here to, to get down to where where you know interest rates were low before and where we got the market um, you know as high as we did in terms of prices. So we're now down at 5.57 as an average. Um, there are already rates coming through from banks now that are getting you know very close towards five. I'm sure some banks will be slightly under five soon if not already. Um, this is all on the you know another rate cut from the Czech National Bank. So it's the third in the last 12 months or maybe even the last six months. So we're starting to see the interest rates come down again. I don't expect them to come down too far, as I said before. But you know, if we get towards you know towards five four percent now, I think that would be a really good opportunity um, there. When I was going through the information in the charts for uh, for this video, I also looked at each individual city or area just to see how things were doing. And one place that struck me was Podobice. Uh Podobice prices are up 10% this year, uh, and their rents are up 20% this year. So, you know, if you're investing there, you know, you've got prices now going up again, which is great. But you're also getting better and better rental returns. That's kind of very interesting uh, potential prices are still not back to where they were previously um, you know still got like 10,000 crowns per square meter low here which is you know around about 12 percent and the rents are going you know really going quite high so that's quite interesting if we compare that with Ostrava for example you know we had 22 percent price growth there in the last year but um, in terms of rents they've only gone up two percent so although the price of your property is going up it seems that the rents are not really going up. Therefore, the actual rental returns are getting worse rather than better. So it's just interesting to look at these things when you are looking at investments. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon.